Hi, and welcome back to my weekly vlog. I'm Shannon Campbell, Dean of the College of Fine and Applied Arts, and you are in for a special treat this week. I have with me one of our phenomenal seniors, Andre Edwards. Andre, welcome to the vlog. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, I want to tell you a little bit about Andre. Andre is an apparel design and merchandising senior who is minoring in digital marketing. Is that correct, Andre? Yes, correct. yes. Well, now that's an interesting combination of major and minor. Can you tell me how fashion and digital marketing play with one another nicely? Yeah, I think that with, for me at least in fashion, it's all about storytelling. And in the world we live in now where everything's so heavily uh, present on social media, that it's important to be able to not only tell a story, but also visually, mm -hmm. um, where you can just look at something and know the story. Um, with that being said, I also, I love nuance. So I love being able to look at something and kind of just it, be open for interpretation, because mm -hmm. I think that's important. Not everything has to be so literal, but I think it's important to be able to look at an image and see what the inspiration is, what that story, what they're trying to say, um, but yeah. Okay, so so it dovetails nicely with one another. Mm -hmm. Will it also help you if you're going into sort of an entrepreneurial part of the fashion industry? It does. Hmm. Uh, with If you're starting a business, I think a lot of fashion brands, they tend to use social media to present their fashion shows. They post their images of different shots from the photo mm -hmm. shoots. So it's, it's the direction that everyone sees as like necessary uh -huh. because it's not like 20 years ago where it's just like a newspaper ad or like a tv commercial um everyone's on their phone all the time so right you want to be able to scroll and be like oh there's so and so um their recent collection mm -hmm. or their recent um photo shoot they did now speaking of collections mm -hmm. something that our friends may not know is i've known andre since he was a sophomore right yes. and Andre was selected to design for the Dean during Showcase two years ago. And he created a fashion ensemble for me that brought out, and I don't know if you remember this, I said, my inner super villain, uh -huh. right? I didn't want to be a superhero <laughs> that also honored my Ghanaian heritage yeah. that I had just found out about and that spoke to my love of color. Mm -hmm. And I have to say you nailed it. Thank you. And I would have worn the outfit, but I need you to alter it for me. Okay. Okay. You got me? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, yes. Now. Built some skills. Uh, <laughs> and so, you know, when I think about fashion, I'm just curious, what sparked your interest in fashion from the get-go? Um, my mom, when I was, I think I was in it, it was 2011. I don't remember mm -hmm. what grade I was in then, but I remember it was 2011. My mom had introduced me to... Um, the show RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. And seeing all these people that were just cr taking things in their like design challenges, which we do here, mm -hmm. they would take things like nothing, like, or things from thrift stores, curtains, Dollar Tree, and make these beautiful ensembles and creations. And it like really inspired me to want to create things like from what I already had or mm. what I could get very cheaply. Um, so that really got me into fashion. And then as I got older, I didn't really see it as like a career until I was applying for college. And then I thought, okay, mm -hmm. I could probably do something with this. And I'm glad I did <laughs> because yeah. it's, I couldn't really, see, I don't know what else I could see myself doing something design wise, like maybe furniture design, product right. design. But, but you're a creative. Yeah, right? creative. Like nothing like an accountant, nothing against right. accountants, but just that wouldn't be my um, cup of tea. Have you always had that spirit, that nature in you? Yeah, I've always wanted, I've always created stuff whenever in school, there's a, a project where we have to make something. It could be like anything, like a poster board and you put stuff on it. I'd be excited. My mom would, be, she would love helping me. We'd be up <laughs> till 3 a.m. And um, I always loved doing just creating things, just creating stuff. We would go to Dollar Tree, mm -hmm. get things, we'd cut stuff up, make new things. Um, but yeah, me and my mom, we both are creatives and she's always encouraged me to always create or find my place in the creative world. Right. Well, you so. know what I love is when you said me and my mom, we'd create new things. Mm -hmm. And when you think about upcycling and sustainable mm -hmm. fashion, can you talk a little bit about what that might mean to you? And is that also a part of your passion for fashion? Yeah. Um, the fashion industry has 
one of the most negative impacts on the environment and the world. So I think it's important as a designer mm -hmm. to not only recognize that, but also acknowledge that when I'm creating. So I typically, I love upcycling things. I love patchwork. It's probably my favorite thing to do because it's like you're creating your own fabric. So I'll have like my base and then I'll put different scrap fabrics on top mm -hmm. and then like zigzag stitch, do whatever, just to keep it there. And then I'll have my own fabric rather than going to buy a fabric or which I do sometimes, but I typically love the patchwork because mm -hmm. it's um, you're reducing your footprint on the world by using what you already have and then creating something new using things that already existed rather than going to buy things and then make something new and then having leftover scraps. Right. I would yeah. imagine the the reduction in waste, yeah. right? Because of all of the patterns and, yeah. and what that means. And it leaves pieces that are unusable yeah. for that particular garment, especially in mass produced garments. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen your work. There's an intricacy. There is an ability for you to create something unique, but that isn't gimmicky or costume. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's really critical because mm -hmm. you, you're you able to push the envelope, right? I think you make wearable art. Thank you. Yeah. And so can you talk about the ways that this program has inspired creativity or have made you really stretch and grow your creative mind? Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of the courses I've taken I didn't really think about this until recently, mm -hmm. how each course I was in, there was a challenge for us to be able to present our information or tell a story within whatever it was we were doing. Um, for example, in visual merchandising, we'll have to do a display. Mm -hmm. And me and my group made a display where we decided to go the other route of using mannequins. So we didn't use mannequins at all. We only used clips and uh, wire strings so we strung up the clothes using oh. wire rather than using mannequins and people saw that and they're like this is the best display I've ever seen so we were trying to tell the story of like you don't always have to go the same route of following what everyone does because everyone before us they use the mannequin yeah put it, there's three they're here, here here and by the time we get to us we're like we don't want to do that again so let's tell the story of being unique and going your own direction, but also having a cool thing to display as well. So I think just having ways to like display things and display what you're creating mm -hmm. and just And being, to apply that creativity yeah. in in every aspect of the mm -hmm. process. Yeah. And I, I see that in you. I see that in a lot of your colleagues. And tell me something that's special about this program that really brings that out in our students. I think the our program is very special because a lot of us see each other a lot mm. so we see what we're capable of and if let's say we are talking ourselves down um I don't think I've ever seen someone like agree like if someone's like oh I don't think I can do that there's always that like yeah you can like I've seen what you can do mm -hmm. which I've done that before right which I'm like oh I don't think I can do that and then someone's like come on you design for the dean you can, <laughs> <laughs> you can do that like it's it's fine so I think just having that sense of community is right. what really like makes like the apparel design program a great program here. Just everyone's, we're always together in different classes and then we are like a family in a way. So yes. when we see each other a lot, after not seeing each other for a while, you're like kind of sad, like, oh no, I miss my family. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. So there's a sense of community, a sense of camaraderie. Mm -hmm. It's supportive. Yeah. Um, I think that's fabulous. But it also produces some of just, I think, the top-notch students who go into so many varied areas. Mm -hmm. You know, when a lot of people think about apparel design and merchandising, they think, I'm, I'm going to be designing, and that's it. Yeah. But there are people who are working in industry. There are people who are working in retail. There are people who work in the science part. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something, Andre. In my mind, I thought I'd go and I'd see, like, old school tailoring <laughs> there's so much technology yeah so much that goes into um this and i will tell you another thing when you were designing for me your grasp of mathematics because oh. i was like <laughs> carry the one two when you, <laughs> you know, because you know your professor would say 
this needs to be two inches shorter here, one eighth up here, a quarter over here. And you yeah. were like, tick, 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 tick. <laughs> I was like, oh, not from not is right. I, I just couldn't yeah. figure it out. Yeah. But there's that. So there is that creative side, but you also have a really strong computational side. So I think that's one of the things that makes this major unique, makes you unique mm -hmm. as one of our kind of super seniors. <laughs> and then I cannot leave here without asking, where do you see your future going? I really want to start my own fashion brand. I've been uh, working on different like designs that I want to produce or have Ooh. manufactured. And then I want to brainstorm ways to create that digital experience for people on social media. So the digital wow. mark using that digital marketing side and creating different um, like like photo shoot ideas, uh, just being like a creative director mm -hmm. and how to best push my brand out there on social media where it'll reach as many people as I can, which I've taken different um, notes from like my digital marketing classes, um, especially this semester, just having uh, the two different professors from different backgrounds and giving their their take on how to do different things from like, let's say what works in their country versus mm -hmm. what works in like the US. So it's nice to be able to get these different perspectives because I want to be worldwide, global. Right. So I have to know what's the best way to <laughs> reach these different audiences. Well, you heard it here first. Andre Edwards, worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to have some designs coming to you soon. One last thing. I know I said that was my last question. What's your signature look? What's, what's going to be the signature call mark of your brand? Uh, just absurdity. Oh, I, I love, love absurd. it. I love absurdity. Um, I love campy elements. Yes. Anything that's just witty out there that makes you think, like, why did he do that? <laughs> or, yes. like, what is this? So if you yeah. dare to be different, yeah. then you're going to be the designer for us. Yeah, exactly. That's great. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you for today. having me. <laughs>